And hello, welcome to Solo Playthroughs. We are going to do Scenario 5 of Robinson Crusoe, The Adventures on the Cursed Island. Uh, for those of you who have been following the previous four iterations of my Robinson Crusoe videos, you will know that this has been somewhat of a cursed island for me in a metaphorical sense. Uh, the first two scenarios, I was messing up the morale phase, and then the live playthrough I did, I had a serious problem with the audio in that I had a setting wrong. So the first 18 and a half minutes were chaos. Um, so it was really just the curses on the island is my official excuse. And hopefully we will avoid any such shenanigans here today. So Cannibal Island. Uh, hmm. Yes. So Robinson Crusoe is has has had such a weird history with me. I, I I really it's still on my top ten. I still love it. Uh for a lot of the, the richness that's there, especially again now that I'm playing right. Um this scenario is is uh a bit of a of an acquired taste for me. When I started to I always play something a couple times and find FAQs to make sure I'm not missing any rules. You know, the irony of that, considering the rules I've missed in this game specifically. And in looking for rules for Cannibal Island or FAQs, what I kept finding was ways to change the setup uh, to make it more reasonable. Uh, and suggestions on how to um, tweak certain things or make sure certain items are available. And, and that was a clue to me that this scenario is just, unfortunately hard in a way that just makes it not fun like i like hard games obviously i do wish that the designer had just done a, a little bit here and there just to make sure that you're just not completely wasting your time in setting this game up because no one likes to play spend 20 10, spend 20 minutes to set a game up and then really have no chance to win within the first 30 seconds i mean it's just it, it's a problem with the design I do do certain things with this game myself, especially if I don't, if I'm not playing as a soldier, to make sure that I at least have a chance. Right, the soldier is the best suited for this scenario, uh, for obvious reasons. This is a combat-heavy scenario, so you want your weapon level up, and the soldier has the most access to ways to increase its weapon level. But the other, the other explorers uh, or the other characters. Are, have their little things that can help here and there, but you really do need at least one strong weapon level item. You are going to need to get lucky with what terrain come out um, to be able to have access to certain things, the knife especially, so then you can build like the spear or the uh, but the bow and arrow. So there, there's some problems with this scenario that that in the design of it that I don't think exist with the other scenarios from what I've seen. Um, so that that kind of again it puts me a little bit of a love hate relationship. Now, however, if you can survive those first two rounds and still have a chance, there is some cool aspect to the scenario. You, you'll be healing more than you do in most scenarios, uh, and you'll be doing some other things just to give yourself a chance to win. Now, how do you win? To win the scenario five, you need to destroy the city of cannibals. Now, the city of cannibals, destroying a city. Or destroying any of the cannibal villages is just like you take a hunt action so you basically compare the strength of you know if you're doing a hunt you compare the strength of the beast to your weapon level you take a wound for each weapon level that you're missing the city of the cannibals however their starting strength is 21 <laughs> so considering these characters only have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve health before they're dead obviously we're going to need to find a way to get that strength down and or get your weapon level way up and we'll kind of see that play out. So scenario five, it is hard to believe, but the sinking of your ship was only the beginning of the bad news. You landed on a very dangerous island, Cannibal Island. In order to survive, you will have to fight. You will also have to track down the cannibal villages and burn them down one after another. So the setup changes. You set up like normal, except for so you have your starting tile number eight, the beach, and I've already covered the shovel here. Uh, and then this tile is number four is going to start face down over here and that is representative of the cannibal island and you will need to explore your way over to that island in order to attack it 
Other special rules, bloody manifestation at the beginning of the fourth round before the event phase, the tile with the city of cannibals, again, which is this tile, is automatically flipped. Now, it doesn't count as explored for the purposes of have you explored hills from what I've read. Um, if somebody has a different belief on that rule, please let me know. But from what I've read, it doesn't count as exploring it for it's automatically explored and then it's flipped over, but it doesn't give us access to the hills. So we wouldn't be able to build a pot or the bricks unless we have independently discovered another there's only one other tile that has hills um, so we'll have to independently discover that and then we'll put the number six token on that meanwhile every other tile that has a totem so again there's nine tiles left in the stack when we start the game five of them have total totems four of them don't when you find a totem the first four you're going to put the correct number on there the first time you find a totem, the player who just explored it takes one damage. The second time the player who explored it takes one damage and has to discard, if possible, a wood or a food. The third village is the same as the second. And the fourth village, you have to take one damage or three if you don't have medicine. And then again, if possible, discard a wood or a food. I haven't really, I don't think I've ever explored all four uh, four villages in, in playing this scenario. There is some upside in doing it, as we'll get into, but for the most part, I'm usually looking at three, if not even two, depending on where my health is and how I feel about being able to beat Cannibal Island with only two uh, villages destroyed. All right, so uh, when we put this in play, we will ignore the totem other than putting the six on it, and we will also ignore uh, the discovery token that is on there. Right, or oh, it says right here, the terrain type hills does not count as explored. So, yeah, that is uh, official. Official, official. All right, fear. You cannot have your camp located on a tile with a village at any point or the city of cannibals. Each gathering action on a tile with a village, unless it is burned down, requires one more pawn than normal. And then war, and we'll talk about burning the, burning the villages, again, used to hunt action uh, with, again, you and the dog, or you and, and you, or... Friday cannot actually attack the villages, so you'd have to do a hunt action with either two, your two pawns or the, your pawn and the dog in a solo game to do an attack of the village. So, so it's war to burn down any cannibal village or the city of cannibals. You must resolve the hunt action on the corresponding tile. This always costs two pawn, pawns, and you need to have a path to the tile from your camp. So other than that, your, uh, your distance doesn't matter as long as there's a direct path. So I, I wouldn't be able to do a hunt action on the city of cannibals until I built a path. But say I decided to stay there for some reason and I had access to that, I could still do a hunt action even from over here and it still always cost two pawns. I resolve the action as normal, again losing one for each missing weapon level. Uh, then there's some other things. There's a ballista on here. I, I've honestly never built it. The canoe is intriguing to me. I've, I've really never wasted my time building that either. So, you know, we'll kind of see how that works out. And then you have in your four special tokens. I think I already said that. Uh, and then the book symbol, we'll explain that when we get there. So I'll put this over here. And what I'm going to do to make this somewhat idiot proof for myself is I'm going to put this here. So the six is here. So when I get there, I know I have to reveal that tile. And then I'm going to put the one, the two, the three, and the four right on the village spaces on our handy dandy scenario sheet here. All right, so I'm going to shuffle up the various adventure decks real quick. Do, 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 do. So, oh, other rules changes. Um, before I forget, you do not, so the starting items are. You, you don't start with, you don't, you don't randomly choose from the eight options. You actually are told to start with pipe and tobacco and your flask of rum. And trust me, you're going to need that health in a very serious way. All right. So uh, again, this scenario, when I first played it a couple of times, I texted my friend and I was like, you know what? We thought the first four scenarios were hard in this game. Uh, yeah, this scenario just, you know, you draw a card, you get punched in the face. You move somewhere, you get punched in the face. You take an action, you get punched in the face. You just get punched in the face a lot. <laughs> so, some people, eh, this is it. It's their favorite scenario. For me, eh, you know, whatever. It's it's grown on me. It's grown on me as I've I've learned it. But yeah, not not an instant fave for Greg. That is 
for show. Sure. All right. I think that's everything we do have to take. Well, let me do this first. I'm going to choose my character. So I'm going to roll uh, one, two, three, four. And I roll the one. We get the soldier. You saw me roll. You saw me roll. That's it. I'm very happy about this. We're getting the soldier. And that's fine. I am. I, um, I'm good. <laughs> the soldier is definitely uh, makes this game, this scenario, a lot more palatable. So soldier special item is a spear. We're going to take that out. So I know we just did the soldier uh, in the in scenario four. But, you know, all four of them have gotten their, their chance to shine in the sun. So let's go back to the soldier. Uh, and it's probably better this way too, considering that, you know, when I was going through the soldier special abilities in the last video, they were kind of drowned out by uh, the, the audio issue I was having. So we're going to take the top five off of this. We're going to put them into play as more available actions. So we have the seller. We have the sling. That's nice. We have the corral. We have the snare and we have the lantern. All right. So I will not do anything fun in this game we'll just play it totally legit and some things is one of the th if i'm not the soldier i'll often make sure that i either either have access to the sling the spear or the arrow uh and there's something i would do with the starting tiles uh if i pulled off two two um totems in a row i would just mulligan it because it's just so unreasonable with any other character that's not the soldier to even have a chance at that point but the soldier can overcome a lot more uh, it still would really reduce your chances of winning but at least he's got more going for him. He's more built for this scenario. So the soldier has four, as all of the characters do. He has four special abilities. He has tracking. So a tiger passed through for a few hours. A big tiger. You can discard two determination tokens to look at the top tower from the hunting deck and put it back on top or on the bottom of the deck. So when we have cards here, we can use that. Probably won't, but that's fine. Defensive plan. All right, Cook, listen carefully. You will take the left flank. So we can, now there's a misprint on this card, and I, I didn't actually learn this until I was on some thread, but there, there's an errata here. Uh, now the book is right. The instruction book is right, but this card is actually wrong. Um, the instruction book is right and says you have to discard three, not two. So I actually wrote in a three on there. You probably can't see it on the camera, but it's three determination tokens to increase either your palisade or your weapon level by one. We'll be doing that as much as we can. It's a nice way to get that weapon level increased. Frenzy. Now I'm angry, and they won't like me when I'm angry. Discard three determination tokens to temporarily get plus three during your action. Great. And the hunt, hello, BC. Discard four determination tokens to shuffle the top beast card from the beast deck into the hunting deck without looking at the card. Again, probably won't be doing that. Special item is the spear. Again, we need to have the knife built and do one and have one wood, and we get plus three to our weapon level. And when we do that, since we are the soldier, we will immediately get two determination tokens last thing we need to set up is our event deck so we're going to shuffle these are the books and so we're gonna so there's nine rounds in cannibal island so when there's an odd number around you just round up so we take five of the books and we're going to shuffle up the the uh, adventure circle card event card things and we're going to take five of those. So we're going to have 10 event cards total. Obviously, even if we go nine rounds, we're only going to go through eight of these. But that's fine. So, and then we're going to shuffle them up. So that, that does make somewhat of a difference. And that books are pretty harsh in this scenario. So you do, you do hope to get a little bit lucky. Since there are 10 cards, you know, there is a chance you get five books and three of the color adventure circles there's a chance you get five of the adventure circles and only three books and that does radically change how this scenario plays i do wonder if you did do better off just taking eight cards and having four and four because then you're at least guaranteeing some more balance but you know that could go either way right so that is it that's set up we have my discovery tokens i just keep in a bag um i get the arkham player in me likes pulling stuff out of bags and you watch my amazing videos i do something similar so that's fine and now we shall proceed right so we skipped the event phase in the first round we are going to do the morale phase now i'm so happy to be alive that i get a determination token to do that production phase we get this and this all right what do we want to do what i want to do is build that sling is what i want to do 
<laughs> but I also need to explore. Faux show. Um, let's. Yeah, let's try to gamble a little bit. All right, so what I'm going to do is going to, I need my two soldier tokens. I'm going to explore with the soldier and the dog there. I'm going to roll to explore. It's important to have a place you can go. And remember, you can never move to a tile that has a, a, a village. So, I'm, I'm, you know, ideally you have, both of these are successful. So rolling this one's a little risky. But again, you're going to succeed five out of six times with the explorer die anyway. So I think it's a risk worth taking. And we'll also get a chance to see how much damage we're putting on Friday right off the jump. The other, well, if we get two totems, we're going to run into a problem there too. So, you know, but we have the Flask of Realm if we need it. So, you know, this two shall pass. I am going to also discard the tobacco to get two determination tokens. And I'm going to discard the tobacco again to give Friday two determination tokens. So that way it will help us, you know, guarantee success here. And I'm going to use my last token to go right ahead and try to build this sling. So we're, we're going for it. All right. I'm going to discard these three determination tokens right off the bat to use a defensive plan. And that's going to give a weapon level of one to go forward. So let's resolve our actions. We are trying to build with the soldier. We're trying to build the sling. This would be gross if we fail and we failed. So we take a damage. The good thing is we don't lose this wood. It just goes back to our future resources. And this comes back here. I'm going to put these dice on here. And we get two more determination tokens for our efforts. Mm, really kind of wanted to succeed at that. <laughs> but we are playing Robinson Crusoe. So it is what it is. Now we're going to roll with Friday. Come on, Friday. Ugh. So Friday is going to take a damage because he rolled the damage die. He's going to take another damage because he rolled the adventure die. Because again, he doesn't pull these cards. And we're going to take this off. It has a totem. So Friday takes another damage because he found the first cannibal village. That's a rough sequence of events for our pal Friday. So Friday is going to probably be doing some resting actions. I can give him the flask of rum too. Ah, rough. All right. So Friday's... He succeeded, at least, but he's done otherwise, except we do get one discovery token. And the nice thing about that tile is it does give us access to a, a, sh a built-in shelter once we've built it, we destroyed that village. So that can actually save us a bunch of damage for the rest of the game. So we get two larvae, which actually might be needed, in case, especially if I find a totem here. All right, so what's going to happen now? I'm going to successfully explore since I had two tokens there. We've guaranteed success. Please don't be a totem. Please don't be a totem. Please don't be a totem. Yes. Cool. Not a totem. Oh, I have to do this too. We have access to the knife, which is really nice. And we have access to the rivers. So I get three determination tokens. We put another beast into the beast deck or from the beast deck to the hunting deck. And we get three of these. So that allows me, it's the old machete. I'm going to increase my weapon level by one. It's more, oh, that's a waste of nourishing larvae. What the heck? And three is if we build the pot, we get plus two weapon level. So I'm very much going to be wanting to find the only other hills that is in that terrain deck. Actions are done. These come down. These immediately turn into food. I don't need the food. I'm just going to discard them. And then the machete, I'm going to discard to get that plus one weapon level. So that gets us up to weapon level two. And this wood also comes down. Night phase. There is, I'm sorry, weather phase. There is no weather. Night phase. We could move. There's no point in moving. You know what? There might be. I'll move here because I can. I don't have shelter, so I take a damage. And then what I'm going to do is use both of these bottle flasks of rum. I'm going to heal up Friday, so he's at least a little bit more usable. And I will heal the soldier. And now my starting equipment 
is done. And that's fine. And then we eat. So, all in all, could have gone a little bit better had I rolled better for the sling, but we're fine. End of the round. I'm going to reset defense of the plan. I have access to that again for round two. And we move this token up to round two. We pull the top event card. We're hoping it's not a book. It is not. Ooh. That's a little ugly. Okay, so we put this on the green dice. So if we do an explore action, we will have to roll that. We will have to pull the top explore card, and we're putting this in the uh, weather spot for this round. This comes here. It moves food crates over, and now we go to the rest of the round. Morale phase that goes up. I take two determination tokens. Production phase. Uh, we get just a food. So I didn't get the wood, we just get a food. Uh, this guy comes back here. Action phase. So we are going to want to hunt this village right off the bat. My weapon level, again, is only a 2, but I will be able to increase it to a 5. So what am I doing there? I'm hunting a cannibal village. When I hunt a cannibal village, the where is it the strength of each village is four plus a number of revealed totem tiles found on all the island tiles when you burn it down cover the totem with a marker it does not count toward the number of revealed totems so i'm going to burn that down um and that will go away but i'm going to have to fight a strength of five because it's four plus the one totem revealed right there so it's actually a strength of five and i can actually get my weapon up to a five using frenzy so this will work out pretty well. Now the question is, what am I doing with Friday? And what am I doing with the soldier? I think I should guarantee building of... I guess I, I should guarantee building of... If I build the guarantee building of the knife, then I could build a spear. And I, that's probably a smarter idea. And then I could build a sling later. So let me do that. So in a guaranteed building of the knife, I don't have to spend the wood for that, so that's good. And we'll go from there. So let's carry out our actions. There we go in order. We're not resolving any threats. We're not hunting any, any anything in the beast deck, but we are hunting. I'm sorry, the hunting deck, but we are we are hunting this cannibal village. I'm going to discard these three to give me to temporarily give me plus three during my action. So I have a weapon level of five. Five is enough to destroy. This cannibal village, I'm just going to put that up there as a reminder that I've destroyed one. And we'll cover that, and that is good. And now that that's gone, we can move there during the night phase, and we'll have some shelter. So that's a nice sequence of events for us. We're now also going to do the build a knife action, and we'll get this up here. Cool. Action phase is done. This comes down. That does boost our weapon level to a three. And then we're going to go to the weather phase. Uh, we have no roof. Uh, I didn't eat. That's fine. I'll take the two damage there. So we're going to take, uh, since the, the, the rain cloud is going to make us lose a wood and a food, night phase, we're going to move our shelter to here where there's a natural shelter. Um, so we don't take advantage of having a shelter, but we can't eat because the rain cloud destroyed our food. So we take two damage for there. One thing I could have done is rolled for the knife and then tried to, uh, I could have used Friday here to get that food, but honestly, you just need to guarantee the, the action economy in this, in this specific scenario is really tight. And sometimes you just need to guarantee some stuff knowing I'm going to be healing later, uh, and just hoping for the best, right? So that is that. We're going to go to round three now. So round three, this moves, and then we're going to draw this card. It is a book, all right? So when a book happens, you got each player, so searching for a new path after the hurricane, walking through the woods is extremely dangerous. When a book is revealed, you resolve that before you resolve everything else on the card. I'm going to take three damage minus one damage for each burned down village. Since there was one burned down village, I just take two damage. That does make my morale go down. And then I put this token the re-roll token on this so the next time i roll and i roll a success i will have to re-roll it this comes down this moves over and the other thing that happens when you see a book which i forgot to do momentarily is you do have to move to an adjacent space you cannot stay on the space you are because it's like cannibals are attacking you now had i not had a place to go i would have had to either 
destroy a shelter if I had a shelter, lose all my roof and my uh, palisade if I had any of those, or I would have had it taken two damage if I didn't have a shelter built, right? So you have to do one of the three. I think I said that a little bit wrong. So you, you, one of the three, you have to move to an adjacent tile, which I did, so I'm good. If I couldn't do that, I'd have to lose my shelter and roof and palisade, or I'd have to take two damage. Right. This attack of the cannibals is not written the most clear. I, I thought you always took two damage no matter what, um, based on how it's written. But again, it's one of those three things. I moved. I don't have to do either of the other two. I didn't have a shelter or a palisade or roof anyway, so we're fine. But this actually can work to your advantage, uh, having to move. So I get the benefit of the shelter, and then I move, and now I get the benefit of getting a wood. So it, it can kind of what could be really bad actually being forced to move in this scenario when you have a natural shelter like this can be one of the more strategic ways to actually win this scenario uh, pretty handily all right morale phase so unfortunately we just get the termination tokens i can't heal like i, I was kind of hoping i would be able to do um we go to the production phase we get a food and a wood and then we go to our action phase I both the sling and the spear are both going to cost me one wood. I really want to avoid that that snow cloud. That is not going to be good for me. I could keep that there. Oh, I could do it that way, which isn't awful. Let me do. Then I'm not going to have wood next turn. All right, I'm going to try to gather with Friday. Getting those two nourishing larvae instead of like candles or there are a lot of other cards that would have been better for me to get than, than what I got, but it is what it is. Um... I'm going to do this because it's, it's just a, a cheap way for me to avoid the, the windscreen problem. And then I'm going to go here and hopefully get luckier in trying to build the sling. All right, so let's go through our action phase then. So I am resolving this threat, exploring new routes. Uh, again, the first one was searching for a new path. We're exploring new routes. I'm going to get a... Uh, I can discard this card, and I get one Determination Token. That's fine. While I'm here, I'm going to spend three Determination Tokens to raise the weapon level losing, using Defensive Plan. Just really try to get this weapon level in the attic. All right. Now we're going to do the build action that I'm doing. So I'm going to roll these three dice, and I'm going to try to build a sling. Take two. I take damage. I have to draw a card, but I succeed. So this is going to go into future... Nope, not, not the sling. I'm sorry, the spear. This is going to go into future resources. That wood is spent, and since I built the spear, I immediately get two determination tokens. Right? It would have made no sense to build the spear. Um, so that is done. These come here. I have to resolve this adventure card. Please don't suck. If possible, put uh, that on two items. Oh, that's a bad card, man. Tools inspection. Some of your tools are slowly falling apart. If possible, put that on two items. I can only put it on one here because that's not an item yet. It's future. So, all right. So I'd only lose the knife. At least the spear is built. So, but if the knife gets flipped over if this comes back out i will lose that weapon level all right so that that could have been a lot worse than i was initially fearing because if i had to put that on a spear too and this card comes out i lose a four <laughs> weapon level oh, that'd be really gross in this scenario so again i'm just randomly doing these i'm looking away from the camera i promise i'm just going to take the top three off one two three oh and here we go of course and now we are rolling to get so i'm losing the knife but i got the spear and I could always build the sling. I'm rolling with for Friday because he is trying to gather me some more wood because I need it. And he takes a damage. 
but he succeeds and he still has his two determination tokens. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he takes the damage as he rolled this. That's 50%. Uh, that's fine. We'll leave that. I could, I'm thinking about maybe rolling this to try to prevent that damage, but it probably makes more sense just to take the damage, definitely succeed, and get this wood because I'm going to need it. So that goes in future resources as well. All right, we'll be back. <sighs> So that is the end of the action phase. So this comes down. We're going to get plus three to our weapon level. So that gets us up to seven. It's about to go down to six in a second. And then we get this wood. Night uh, weather phase. There is no weather to worry about. Night phase, we're going to move the camp to the mountain tile where we have the natural shelter. So we have shelter and we, and we are good. All right. So next round, we're going to go to four. So what happens when we get to four? Um, this flips. Now it doesn't again. It doesn't count as explore. It doesn't give us access to the part of the bricks, but that's explored. And again, this is the city of the cannibal. And we don't get that discovery token. We now do the event phase. We know what it is. The broken tools. It is a miracle that they lasted so long. But the knife did its job. It got me the spear. We're good. Turn the marked items. And there's only one item face up. And again, it's if possible. So we only had one item at the time. So it's only this item. And cancel this effects if possible we cancel the plus one that we got from the knife but we still have access to rebuild it again if we want to we're going to take the next card we get all right it is not a book so we stay where we are this goes on there during the production phase of this round you get no bananas cold area predators clean the area it will be hard to find food today well forget you <laughs> That's, oh, I can get two bananas back. All right, we're good. We're good. I feel better about this. My weapon level is a six, so this actually isn't a deal. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to need to explore a new area. I can't risk killing Friday yet, so I'm going to have to explore it myself. We just have the one wood. So Friday's going to go here. We're going to go here, and then, oh, I have to do the rest of the phases. Um, we're going to do the morale phase that goes up. I'm going to take a heart and when, then we're going to do the production phase. We get no, but we get no food and there's no wood there. So we get nothing. So Friday goes here. Like I originally planned, we're going to explore with the dog and ourselves. And then we are going to heal. <laughs> it is like the one action you never do except for this scenario where you do it all the time so let's see what happens we're going to carry out our action phase now first action we are going to go to um, resolve this threat so we discard discard and get two bananas thank you very much what do we do we plentiful hunting yeah those predators got the food and then friday smacked them upside the head and got we turn whatever they ate into bananas by eating their flesh. I don't know, something weird. And then we're going to go to the next action we're doing is the explore action. So we don't have to re-roll because we didn't roll a success, but that is on there. So we do have to draw that card, even though we are guaranteeing a success. So we successfully explore. Let's pull this, see what it is. All right. You got a puma in the bushes. If you go back to camp now, you will bring death with you. Discard this card and execute night camp out of night phase of camp outside of camp. But execute the night phase outside of camp or shuffle into the event deck. Um, no. I'm going to. I don't want to execute in the night phase outside of camp. Just seems like a 
really bad idea. Uh, so I'm going to shuffle this into the event deck. And we'll have the weapon level to fight it. The problem is it's going to cost us a weapon level and we're probably going to take a damage because we don't have a palisade. So that's a little gross. But it is what it is. Again, tap three off. We're good. And then we successfully explore. So I'm going to put this in play. It gives us access to grasslands. Another beast goes in the beast deck. We get two determination tokens and we cover up the grasslands here. And then I roll a white cube across the table with expert style. So I am getting my determination token bag or discovery token bags. So we get this. So this is actually going to go back on here. Oh, I really want to build that pot. <laughs> build that pot would be if we can find the last. Again, there's a lot of tiles here left, but if we can find that last hills, woo, that pot would be nice. We got two health and plus two in our weapon level, uh, which would be really, really nice. Ooh. All right. I think we just found our ticket. So that's done. And then we're going to heal there. That's fine. End of the action phase. This comes down. This comes down. These come down. We're going to stay where we are. No weather phase. There is no weather. We're going to stay where we are for the night phase. So we have shelter. We eat. One banana and the other banana rots. Now, before I forget, I'm going to do this. I'm going to look at the top three cards of this deck. And I can put them back in any order. Because this symbol, this is the map of the island. So it says, look at the top three tiles, put them back in any order. Now, what we want is, ideally, and I don't know if it has it or not, but ideally we get the hills with another totem. But it, that probably doesn't exist because this hills has a totem. But we, we definitely want the hills and we definitely want one more totem. So let's see what these are. Did not get access to the hills. Do have access to another totem. These are kind of the same card. Uh, I don't think we're building that pot, kids. It's so gross. I want to build the pot. This doesn't matter. I, I'm, they're Again, they're the same exact card. So I'll just put them. So I'm going to put... They both have food and wood. Uh, and they both have a totem, they both have one discovery token, and this is basically a replica of the tile we're on, except it has wood instead of food. So, we'll just do this. Not ideal, but it'll have to do. Um, and then, I used that last turn, let's do this. No, I don't think I'm going to get enough, I'm going to hold on to these three, and leave that weapon level at a six, for now. Um... That's fine. So uh, we're gonna go to weather phase, no weather, night phase. Oh, I already ate, that already rotted, we're good. We're gonna go to the next round, All right? So round five, we're gonna pull this card. What is it? It is a wood, um, it is a, a book. So termites, the wood you gathered is useless. Before I do that effect, we're gonna have to take two damage because we're getting attacked. We would take three damage minus one for each Burn down village, so there's only one burn down village, so we take two damage, so that loses us morale. And then we have to move, that's fine, I will move here, because we're going to need another wood. Yes, we're going to need another resource, for sure. Oh, that's gross. We don't fire. We need to get rid of that. I need resources. Bad. Bad, bad. So I'm actually going to go there just to get two resources. Stupid cannibals. All right, so we're, we're going to morale phase. This goes up. I'm taking the heart. I'm very concerned about my health right now. Production phase. I get a food and a wood. Now, uh, action phase. I need to use, oh, I have, well, and termites, if possible, discard of wood. So that's why I went there to get the extra resource. All right, I'm going to put Friday here with a wood because we need, to, we can't, that, that ring, that snow cloud is just egregiously bad for us. I'm going to try to upgrade our weapon level. And no, I'm not. I need to get this other thing on the board. I'm going to do three pawns 
to have to roll to do that. I think that makes sense. I don't have to roll twice, but again, you, you succeed five out of six times. I think I, I need to get that other thing on the board. Uh, but then I, I'm not going to have food to eat. Shoot. Because when I, if I explore, I know that's a, remember we looked at it. I know that's a, a cannibal village. And if we get a cannibal village, we're going to have to discard, if possible, a food or a wood. And the only thing we have left is food. So I don't know if it makes sense to discard our food to take the two damage. So a lot, lot to figure out there. Let me... Heal twice, which isn't the worst idea I've ever had. Let me try to build the knife and I'll heal. And that way we'll have the food that we need. And then um, I probably wouldn't have built that sling. I mean, ideally, we, we got a goat or something because then I could have had a, a, a fur that I could use to build the sling. But obviously, didn't get all that lucky with the determination tokens or the discovery tokens. I always do that in this game. I wish, like, stop doing alliteration. <laughs> Give me, like, determination tokens and, like, findings. <laughs> but discovery determination, you guys know what I mean. Most of the time, I hope. All right, let's carry out our action. We are going to do this. So that's out. This is out. Yeah, that, that snow cloud would have been just awful. Uh, so I discard the card, and I get a determination token. Yeah, and I can't possibly have Friday build a knife because he would almost assuredly die. So we're not going to worry about that. Um, so he gets a determination token, even though three for him is kind of silly. But that's fine. At least we ignore that snow cloud. We're now going to roll to try to build this knife. And we rolled. Oh, garbage. So I get two determination tokens and a damage. Which isn't great. And then I heal that damage with uh, my last pawn that was on this. All right, weather phase, no weather, night phase, I'm moving to the natural shelter, and then I have shelter, I don't take a damage there, and then I eat yummy, yummy. We go to round six. We're going to pull this top card. What is it? We have to fight a beast. Oh, this could actually be good. Um, so Puma attacks. The Puma face found your camp and attacks you. All right, so we fight the beast. We have a weapon level of three, a six. He's got an attack of three, so we defeat him. And then we lose one weapon level. We take a damage because we do not have a palisade, but we get two food and a fur. And that goes into uh, current resources because, again, this happens in the event phase, not in the action phase. We then are told to draw another card. Yikes. All right, it's another book. Strong wind. The wind hits the camp again. And again, working today won't be easy. We satisfy the book, so we take two damage because, again, it's three minus one. And we're going to move here. Because I can move there because I have the food, so I'm not worried about getting the resources like I was last time. And this goes here. This moves over. Uh, and that's fine. If this goes off the board, we will have to turn an invention face up. That's a problem. Uh, we have to put the minus one actin in the in the um, build action space. I really can't predict if we have a shot at this or not right now, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> I might sacrifice Friday. I think that's. I think that's just going to make sense right now. I heal two. I sacrifice Friday. Again, I have this frenzy, which will give me some decent chance. That's only if possible. I won't have any wood. Oh, I didn't do the rest of this phase. So the morale phase, I get a heart. Nice. Production phase, I just get the wood. I, I hate this. This is this part of the game when you put the event down here and you have to go back up for morale. I really wish they went from event 
to here to morale. They have the space to do something. This I find, but I know they wanted this here because if you're resolving the actions, but there, there's something awkward about that. That if, if I'm gonna skip, I rarely skip just production or morale. I usually skip both or neither. Um, if that makes some sense. Yes, I'm neurotic. I know. You know this by now, I assume. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so this the number of cards is right. So we're still in round six. What I want to do is we need to sacrifice Friday with this explore. So I know that's another camp. I'm going to go here because another determination token would be useful. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to use defensive plan to raise my weapon level up to a six. Let's go through our actions. I've successfully explored. I've successfully taken care of this threat, tool maintenance. So with one pawn, discard this card, get a termination token. Gives me three. I'm going to explore with Friday. Since I'm not rolling, I don't need to worry about this. But Friday is about to be not much longer for this world. Because this comes off, we get a determination token. It's a totem. What happens with the totem? Friday takes another damage. So he's dead. His determination tokens get discarded. And we get uh, one determination token. Oh, we have to we have to discard a resource if possible. I'm going to discard the food because I'm not going to need it. And we get one discovery token for successfully exploring that grasslands. And it is a morale token, which is useless. We then do our final action. We take a heart. And that is the end of that row. Weather phase. It's fine. Night phase. I'm going to move back here to get to the natural shelter. We eat. We're good. We go to the next round. So round seven, we draw this. Don't be a book. It's not. This goes here. Oh, okay. That's fine. Foo, flood. Water enters a camp and washes things away. We turn one item face up. That would be really gross if we had to do that. Or we get minus one weapon level. Or we get minus one palisade. Or each player takes the damage. I'm just going to take the damage. I can't lose three. I'm taking a damage everything else I do. The math is fine. I, I really need that weapon level up as high as I can get it. All right. So now we do the morale phase. I'm going to take that heart back. We're going to do production phase. I'm going to get just a food. And then we're going to plan, go to action planning. I'm going to plan to do a hunt. Here, I have access, so that's fine. And then I'm going to plan to do, I'm tempted to try to build that sling. Oh, you need an extra worker. I can't. That minus one is going to prevent that from being a reality which is fine it's only honestly the way the trade-off works with weapon level and health it's almost just like this is basically the equivalent of two health because it would give me two more on my weapon level so at this point it just it's only one different um so just again you can't worry about it that much so or i'm not worried about that much uh, specifically so we're going to carry out our actions again we're not resolving any threats we're going to do a hunt action that hunt action, we are uh, going against one cannibal village. That cannibal village starts with a four. It gets plus one because there's two uh, totems that are revealed. So that is an attack of a six. We have a weapon level of a six. So we defeat that cannibal village without taking any wounds. And that can be covered up with this. This goes here. This goes here. My other action is I'm just healing one. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty of the rest of how this, what our focus is the rest of this game. Well, let me finish the round first. Weather phase, no weather, night phase. I have natural shelter. I discard this, and I have a path to the Cannibal Village. Cannibal Village has a base attack of a 21. That attack is reduced by three for every burned down village, Cannibal Village. So the city of the Cannibals has a base attack of 21. It's reduced by three for every burned down Cannibal Village. So it's actually an attack of a 15. My weapon level is only a six. So there's a nine difference. So I can't take nine wounds, but I can raise my weapon level by three temporarily during the action, and I can take six wounds. So in theory, I could win this the next round, you know, before I get jacked around by the event car, which I'm sure is going to happen. 
But in theory, we have a path to actually winning this thing the next round. All right. So we're going to go to round eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's right. Um, so round eight, we pull this card. This is already there, so we don't have to redo that. And precipice. A landslide occurred during the hurricane. Your camp is on the edge of a precipice. And choose an island tile adjacent to your camp and turn it face down. It becomes inaccessible. So this tile is now inaccessible. Uh, since that, we don't have access to building the shovel. And we got lucky, because if that was another book, we would have had to take a damage. It would have been three minus two. But since we didn't have to get another damage, we're actually in a really, ah, we could have healed that. We're in a really good place this very second. So this goes over, this goes off. If possible, discard a wood. It is possible. Morale phase, I take a health. Production phase, I take a food. And then we do action phase. We're doing a hunting action on the city of the cannibals. I'm going to discard these to raise, temporarily raise my, um, I'm using, sorry, defensive plan goes back. I'm using frenzy to temporarily raise my weapon level by three during my action. So we're attacking. Uh, this guy I'll just put in the health, whatever. I'm attacking him. He's 21, minus three, so he's 18. Minus three, he's 15. My weapon level is temporarily at nine. So I take six damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. I lose two morale. The city of the cannibals is defeated. We have won. Right? I think that's right. <laughs> Goal of the scenario. You must destroy. Yes. We just tried to see the other cannon. Woo! All right. All right, something felt off about that for me for a second. But yeah, that's it. That was, uh, you see why the soldier is so epic in this scenario. Um, just the way things add up, that plus three, which I used twice with Frenzy. The I think we used Offensive Plan twice. The Spear, having that access to plus three right off the bat. We got lucky, and that came out early. I really like the natural shelters in this scenario. And that's that's the love hate relationship I have with this scenario because it, it does bring certain like like rules that are kind of obscure and, and not important in most scenarios. It really brings them to life in this scenario. The number of times you're using this heal action. I had one time I was playing with the um, I think it was the Explorer and I had the hammock and I was using this action so many times and just loading up a defense on uh, on determination tokens, which really uh, just allowed me to kind of pick through this as much as I wanted. Oh, you know what? The other hills does have a totem. This this hills would have been a super strong tile for us because we could have built that pot, gotten two and two. Um, but a lot of times when you win this scenario, it is in some, it is in round eight or nine because you just have to get there. I have never beaten this without destroying at least two of the cannibal villages. Um, I mean, the remaining three cards here were were just two books and one uh, one of the browns, so they came out pretty even. Uh, but it's definitely good for us that they came out more of the adventure tiles, adventure event cards, as opposed to the book event cards. Um, but that is that. I I I feel like accomplished. <laughs> I feel like we lifted the Robinson Crusoe curse just ever so slightly off of my channel. Um, we'll see what the next scenario is. We have two more scenarios to go. I will be working my way through all seven. And then I, I still have some absurd notion of going through First Martians a little bit. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, when I put the first video out and like four people watch it, we might change our minds on that. Uh, but the next scenario is Family Robinson. I have read, read through the rules on this. This seems like a nice, more epic, longer campaign, uh, which uh, seems like a, a decent challenge. Uh, I've started to read through the rules of the King Kong scenario, too. They are making my head spin a little bit, um, so I assume I just need to reread them more uh, at another day uh, when my brain is not as fried. But um, they will be out on the channel probably sometime in the next two, three months. Uh, we'll get through the rest of this game. But uh, a lot more coming up in the next few weeks, so hope you all will join me for the ride. Um, but any questions, comments, epiphanies, please put them in the comment section below. Comments are a really important part of the YouTube algorithm and I am always happy to engage with all my subscribers or non-subscribers as the case may be. Uh, but either way, I hope to see you next time and in the meantime, happy gaming. Take care.